I rise to speak on a matter that is very close to my heart. I arrived in Australia in 1999. I had a resume prepared by expert lighter in Kenya. My resume had details such as next of kin, age, gender, and marital status. At the marital status, it read married with issues. Clearly, it didn't communicate my skills and capabilities to the Australian labor market. Thankfully, under the federal liberal government of John Howard and state jo premier John Olsen, there was a program in the state of South Australia called Interlink. As a new migrant, I was enrolled in this program free of charge, and I learned how to do a resume Australian style, how to do an interview with the Australian employers, and how to communicate my skills my experience and my capabilities effectively. Needless to say, in four short months, I was employed as an auditor in the South Australian Auditor General's Department, a job I held for the next eight years, which enabled me and my family settle in this country. This is what Liberal Party policies do best. They create the capacity to create opportunities for all Australians to enter the job market and most importantly be all they can be because of the fundamental core value of the party that everybody deserves an opportunity. I thank my colleagues, Senator Bernardi, for highlighting this important issue which shows how Liberal Party policies help South Australians not only find a job, not only grow personally and publicly, but be all they can be in this country. As a voter, I believe it is vital we have policies that enable us not only to find job, but create jobs through small, medium, or even big businesses. That is what the Liberal Party in South Australia can do and would do for all of us. Whether you are looking for a job or looking for people to fill vacancies that you, your business has created. The important thing is that there are policies and values in place that give South Australians the opportunity to choose the path that best works for them. Liberal Party policies in South Australia will deliver significant investments in internships and traineeships, among other opportunities. Both state and federal liberal governments are committed to providing over 100 million for job creation, which will lead to an additional close to 21,000 internships and traineeships. This is part of the government skilling for Australia FAD, a national initiative for vocational education and training. This is happening through the federal liberal government's job active program, which has placed 35,000 South Australians in the job market. In addition, 3,500 South Australians are participating in other programs. There is another program called Parents Next Program, which has trial sites in Playford, Port Adelaide, Port Augusta, and Weala, where participating parents are given personalized assistance to improve their work readiness and pathway from welfare. South Australia was once a jewel in the crown of the nation, known for her ingenuity, courage, and the entrepreneurship of her people. She has been suffering for many years, but I have great hope that she realized again as an ethical and economic powerhouse.